Welcome back everybody to another uh, tutorial episode of Sky Factory 3. So last week, uh, or last episode I should say, I showed you guys how to make barrels. And I hope that you guys have played Minecraft and you guys know how to make the chests. And I went ahead and uh, increased the size of the tree farm that we currently had in episode one so probably wondering why i have a tree over here i'm actually going to grow this tree now um this tree is going to be meant for a specific purpose and i will show you guys that in just a second so i went ahead and i have a few oak saplings and i have a bit of dirt so i showed you how to do that in the first video if you haven't already seen that video go ahead and do so uh, in this video, I want to show you guys how to make water. Unfortunately, I've logged in for quite a few days now, and it hasn't rained. Um, mainly due to the fact that I am in the uh, the cold uh, the cold hills biome. Uh, I want to say so. If this has happened to you and it hasn't rained, um, it's all good. I'm going to show you guys how to do how to uh, how to get over uh, that hump right now. So. You'll need to get to the crafting station. I'm going to just set the sapling down because I don't need this sapling. And you're going to need some oak wood. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. That's kind of funny, actually. Okay, you're going to need some oak wood. Um, but one thing nice about how the crafting station works is you have the chest actually directly right beside you. So... Um, what you will want to look for is you will want to look for a um, a crucible, and you're going to look for the oak crucible. The oak crucible is meant to uh, give you water right off the bat and make it so that you guys can have buckets. So we're going to get our oak crucible, and I need to put one of you and a few of you. So like I was saying earlier. Hold shift, press plus, it'll give it, it'll put it right into your system. So unfortunately with the oak crucibles, you cannot just set them on the ground. It will not, it won't give you what you're wanting. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to, actually, I don't have a good um, place to put this, but we're going to need to grab this torch. We're going to need to grab some blocks of wood because I'm going to have to build around. doesn't really matter where you put this. It pretty much just comes down to how you build it. Um, so I'm going to put my torch and then I'm going to put my crucible. So uh, in my crucible... What I'm going to put is I'm going to put saplings like we're making dirt, just like we were doing in the barrels. This will melt and make water. Um, and then from there, I, I'm going to show you how to actually get the water out of the oak crucible. Um, uh, hopefully, actually, in this video, I'll, I will show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to grab some oak saplings. I'm going to put them into my item, and I'm going to right-click. As you see, it's already turning into water. You can only ever hold one barrel in a crucible, in an oak crucible anyway. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the rest of my oak saplings into here because we need a lot of dirt um, in, the next, in the next stages of what we have to do. So... You can do this prior or after uh, you do this. I probably should have done it before, but remember all the silkworms that I told you to keep. Well, just you, just grab. You can only you only ever need one. But and I have this tree over here for a reason. And I was gonna t like I said, I was gonna show you the reason. So the reason is you take a silkworm and you right click. This will start infecting the leaves. Um, silkworm. If you can tell by the name, it gives you silk. Um, because it gives you silk, you can make 
sieves, you can make a bed, you can make a bunch of things. Um, so for now, we're, we are going to make a bed. So I'll be right back once this tree uh, fully infests. And I'm going to actually grind out some more dirt in the process. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So the tree has now been fully infested. You'll be seeing by, you'll see progress done at the top of my screen there. <clears throat> so the entire thing has been infested with silkworms. This is perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my grave key, which is the key right beside the one key on my keyboard anyway. Hold a crook in my hand and click. As you see, this gives me a lot of string. Um, this string is used for mainly in beds, which I'm actually going to make one right away so that I can actually sleep off this night. And it's also used in creating um, the, the sieves or the sieves, I, uh, however you want to call them. So I, I can't remember how to make a bed, it seems. So don't watch my tutorial if you don't know how to make a bed. <laughs> okay, beds. I think it sticks, actually. Oh, okay. I didn't put enough underneath. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and sleep, and, uh, and then it'll be easier to see what I'm doing. I don't know where I want to place this. Where should, where should I place this? I should place this. I can make a really fancy floor. I can make it a fancy floor. I don't care. I'm going to place it right here. Okay. So, sleeping is a great thing to get rid of zombies if there are zombies. But um, now that it's daytime and you can actually see things, things are amazing. Oh my, and a bit really, really really big tree wow okay so you have the oak crucible you have filled with water how do you get the water out of there what we need to do is we need to actually make a few things prior to uh getting that water out of there it's first step get water and we have water now so we we're not so stressed out um what we're gonna need to do we're gonna make a sieve and um the recipe for that is right here. If you guys do forget, the spelling is S E I V. No, S I E V. I E V. And we're going to need the regular sieve. So, as you see here, we have the regular sieve. We'll make the regular sieve. So, when we get the regular sieve, we grab it. And I'm going to come over here and place it down uh, right here. And, well, there's nothing inside of it. And I can't do anything about that. So, we need a uh, sieve mesh, which is. Another thing why we needed string and the silk tree is we need to create a string mesh. So once we get the string mesh, let's um, move over and we just got to right click on the actual sieve. And oh my word, we got a string mesh inside the sieve. So another reason why we needed so much dirt at the start is we need to get... Um, stone and this is how we get stone so you just right click on the mesh and voila we're sifting we're sifting dirt so it's going quite slow um so as you see we got acadia seeds potato seeds grass seeds uh and stone stone is used to make well cobblestone and later on in this game literally cobblestone wow i'm I'm pulling, I'm, I'm going full noob today, it seems. So, cobblestone is is a very big necessity late game because it literally gives you everything. So, um, actually, this is enough cobblestone to show you how to, uh, no, it's actually not. I got to get more cobblestone. So, as you see, the sieve is pretty slow in sifting. Um, it It's always like that. So, the way to speed it up is actually to literally make more sieves. So how many strings can I make? I can make five. So let's make five. Whoops. Three, four. Let's make five uh, sieves as to, oh, I did that wrong. I should probably make more sticks because more sticks are needed. I still didn't make, well, I actually, I probably did. Three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's make five of these bad boys. And, whoops, don't throw a string away. Okay, let's make five of these and place them wherever you seem fit. Don't worry if it's close to the edge. Um, you won't, they want the um, items that come out of the sieves won't, will uh, get uh, pushed to you. So let's put the, let's put the sieve mesh inside of the sieves. Let's grab our dirt. And so then we have six meshes. Hey, look. So much faster. You won't have to sit here for hours and hours and hours on end, like some of the minerals that we have to do later with the uh, heavy meshes. So now that I've sifted all the dirt, I have quite a bit of stone, which is perfect because I need to make a few things. So one of the first things that we need to make is take a block of you. I'm actually going to place my all my odds and ends into this chest. Accept that. Put that in here. I'm really anal about keeping my uh, my chests cleaned up. So we need to make a furnace because a furnace is um, pretty much life at the start because you need to like sear everything and the only way to sear certain things is to make a furnace so let's make a furnace let's just make a single furnace and let's place it uh, let's place it where this barrel is since these barrels since it's not going to rain let's just take the barrel I'll take that barrel away and I'll take this barrel away and I'm going to you and again, I'm just going full retard. Okay, let's place the furnace there. So, the next thing we need to do is we need to turn cobblestone into dust. And the way we do so is, I keep forgetting to remind you guys about the achievement book. So, we're going to actually go into the achievement book and let's think through how we're supposed to do this so let's go through and check off what we've done uh, we've used a crook to get leaves and saplings we've twerked um, I've also noticed that running around the trees actually work too. make dirt by composing so we've made the dirt we have infested the leaves with silkworms we've used crooks on leaves to get string uh, we have crafted a sieve and string mesh um, and this one I like I said I just showed you or we melt saplings in a wood crucible. We've just done that. Now we've also just made cobblestone as well. Now the next thing we got to do is craft a hammer to turn cobblestone into gravel, gravel into sand, sand into dust. So we need dust. So we'll we not we got to figure out how to make a hammer. So let's put that back up there. Let's uh, clear my inventory of non-essential items. A hammer is actually really easy to make. So in the search bar, we can look up hammer. And we find we can make a wooden hammer. The wooden hammer really doesn't have very much durability. It literally just goes through a stack of something. But it's extremely easy to make. So we need sticks. And we need planks to make a wooden hammer. So let's just make one, um, let's just make one bucket for now. So a bucket is literally, so like I said, I just hammered, I hammered the cobblestone, made gravel. Gravel makes sand and sand makes dust. Uh, you will have to really understand this later on later later on because uh, there's a lot of things that you need dust and sand and stuff for so oh no I placed my dust in the crucible of water don't worry we got clay clay is life um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a hammer hammer the clay and we're gonna get four pieces of clay off of that but clay 
it, then we can make into the bucket format is an unfired clay bucket. We're going to throw that into the furnace with a little bit of wood. And we're going to fire that bucket up because we want to make an unending supply of water. So we don't have to continue putting stuff in there. So I'm going to come back and show you guys uh, in a second here how to make a unending supply of water. Okay, guys, I am back. So in the meantime, what I've done is I've created a little area for I can put a water here and a water here and the endless supply is literally in the middle. Um, it's just it makes it a little easier at the start instead of just making a straight square because I find squares take up more areas. Um, well, that's about the same. So what I've done is I've created another oak crucible just to make it a little faster. So I'm going to place a water here. Yeah, what? I want to place a water there and I want to place a water there and now I have an endless supply right in the middle. So that's how you get endless supplies of water. Now I'm going to show you guys why wow, that is one very big tree. Well, I'll leave that to your guys' discretion on how to get that tree down. There's many ways. I, I like building a ladder, and it looks like I'm out of string. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens if... Oh, no, I wasn't holding crouch, and I fell off the world. I'm going to die. Don't worry. Guess where you respawn? At your bed. So, now that you have a death sentence, that's right there. I physically don't have any inventory, but I'm going to show you guys how to get down to your inventory. Now that you have water, I'm going to show you another way, and actually I'm going to make... I'm, when I'm when I'm going to die, I'm gonna make a bunch more string. I'm gonna just do this really fast. I'm gonna put a bunch of silkworms. Those aren't touching, right? Okay, good. Cause yeah, if those are touching, eh, I can have a lot of silk. I don't want that much silk. Okay, so we have our bucket. I'm gonna take my middle. Oh <gasps> no, it's ice. Ice is not good. Ice is very very bad. I ice ice no. Ice is not good. Okay, so I'm going to take my bucket of water. I'm going to stand extremely close to where I died. So I think I fell off right about here. So I'm going to place that going down. Actually, that was a horrible place because one of the streams. So we're going to place it. No. I guess I have to let the water go all the way down. I guess falling down from the bottom and falling down from the top does not bode well. Oh, hey, look. There's the sun. Or the moon. No, the moon should be right there. Yeah, the sun's coming around. It's almost 12 o'clock midnight. Woo! Okay. That's fine. I can clear that later. So I want to place it right there. So let's just jump in the water. And we're going to go... We're going to ride this baby all the way down to the bottom. So yeah, you can stick your head out and you can still go down slowly but surely. Actually, that first place was actually perfect. So ride yourself all the way to your grave. Literally. Hey, look. It's my face. It's my face. It's my face. Ha, ha, voila. So these are graves. Um... You can mine them. You would get your inventory back if you had any inventory. Um, I didn't have any inventory, so don't worry about it. Uh, some people, what they do is... One of my friends made a comment that I could actually mine this and get dirt back, but I never got any dirt. So we're going to go back up to the top by just holding spacebar, sticking my head out, and floating. We're floating. Oh, um, this doesn't bode well for me. 
Um, I'm going to figure out how to get out of this in just one second because my source block decided it was going to turn to um, ice. So note to self, don't try this if, if your source block turns to ice. I'm going to get out of this and I will be right back. Okay, guys. So if that ever happens to you where um, your source block turns to ice, I've already broken it. Uh, and then you get stuck down there again after creating a bucket. Now I really have to go down there and get my bucket back. So one thing that you can do is you can create rope from string. So let's look up rope. Uh, if I can spell rope properly. There it is. Uh, where's Climbing rope. So you literally put string in a diagonal on the crafting station. So let's do that. Bam. Okay, so I got a bunch of climbing rope now. I can get down and up. Literally, this acts like a ladder. Um, it's actually really beautiful. So I'm going to keep my inventory. So where did I die? I died over this one. No. I died over... I died over this one. So literally, you go down it like a ladder. Just hold right shift and you'll keep putting the rope longer. So that's not where I died, but that's close enough. So like I said, you'll go down it like a ladder. And just keep holding right shift so you know you don't have to run out. Uh, well, you run out of rope. But okay, that's as long as it goes, so I'm right to the bottom. Okay, and jump. Okay, so <laughs> look at my climbing rope. <laughs> As you see, I got my bucket back. Because bucket equals life. So ropes are extremely hard to climb. Um, so get on them and look straight. Oh, okay. Hold shift and look straight up. Shift, you climb slower. Substantially slower. But there's always a but you can climb straight up at the start especially right when you jump so uh that makes it nice to get another one okay so let's get up let's figure out how to okay and we're up so that's how you uh save yourself from certain destruction and doom from falling off all the time so i'm gonna put this in here one more thing i do want to show you guys so if you guys did fall off you will notice a bunch of markers we're gonna say we're gonna say markers they just tell you where you died um, just how this map works so just press M brings you into your settings so we're gonna go into options waypoints create death points and we're gonna turn we're gonna turn death points off now we're also gonna go in mini presence one we're going to go show waypoint labels. We're going to turn you off and we're going to show and we're going to turn off the show waypoints. Um, this makes it really nice so that I can just I can just uh, straight up. Uh, I, I just want to remove you. Remove. Is there, is there no remove? Doesn't matter. So that's how you turn that off so and I believe how do I oh. okay well that doesn't matter um there was a I, I used to remember a way to make the minimap bigger but I can show you guys that in the next video so guys I showed you guys how to make water I showed you guys how to make sieves and string mesh I showed you guys how to make um, cobblestone. I've also showed you guys how to make string. So that was a few things I I will uh, a few things that I do. You don't need a lot of string in this uh, gameplay. I find mainly you make it with right at the beginning with the meshes and stuff like that. So you don't have to gather a lot of it. But I had um, for homework for next episode, guys. I'm going to have a lot more dirt made. I'd, I suggest you guys do the same. I'm going to actually make a, 
either a square or I'll just leave the water. It's up to my it's up to my discretion, and um, I'm gonna get ready to uh, to start making. Um, oh, make a bunch of cobblestone. Now that you guys know how to make cobblestone, make dirt and make a lot of cobblestone because cobblestone is needed for the next episode. I will try to get the next episode out right away here, but um, no promises. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and like the video. I will try to put these out. Um, I'm going to try and start doing these as many times as a week as I can because um, when you need to know something, you need to know it now. So I might as well do this as much as I can. But for now, guys, I hope you are enjoying this. So do like and subscribe. That would be awesome. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial.